This is a question I've been asked a hundred times, and based on a quick Google search, it looks like there are quite a few other folks who want the answer. How hot can my PC run before it's not safe anymore? Okay, well, let's start with why you would care how hot it runs. Um, lots of reasons. High temperatures can cause all kinds of stuff in semiconductors. Um, it increases the electrical resistance, reducing efficiency. It can speed up the degradation of electrical pathways within the component, allowing errors that cause data corruption. And it can even, if the proper safeguards weren't in place, cause the low temperature solder that is sometimes used to completely melt. Alrighty then, that's very scary. Can you give me the answer now, Linus? Well, hold on, let's start with some information from the websites of a couple of computer hardware manufacturers you may have heard of. The T-junction temperature, the point at which it will turn down its own speed to preserve its life for the Intel Core i7-4770K CPU is 105 degrees Celsius. The out-of-the-box standard operating temperature of 95 degrees Celsius for AMD's R9-290X graphics card is, to quote AMD, perfectly safe. While powered on, a WD Red hard drive can operate at anywhere from zero to 70 degrees, which in their testing produces no unrecoverable errors, and a GTX 780 Ti ships at an 80 degree maximum, and Nvidia theoretically allows up to 95 degrees, but we found that they actually limit it to around 86 degrees Celsius. So those are super scary high temperatures, Linus. My friend said it should be lower. Are they misinformed? If it says it's okay directly on the manufacturer's website, why is there so much confusion out there about this? Because it's not quite that simple. Unlike the engine in your car, which uses a thermostat to maintain itself within a very narrow range, usually with between 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, most PC parts don't have moving parts that rely on tight manufacturing tolerances and high performance lubricants to keep them functioning. So they don't, they don't really have an optimal operating temperature. That means that while the hard drive with moving parts specified a max and min temperature for the other stuff, a maximum is specified and a minimum is not because you can pretty much run it as low as you want and it'll be happier than a pig in split. <laughs> with that said, lower is better if you're taking the appropriate precautions. For most people, you're not going to want your temperatures to drop any lower than ambient or the temperature of the surrounding air because below that temperature, water droplets forming on your components due to condensation becomes a major concern. Water is worse for your hardware than high temperatures. So here's the summary. First, check out the manufacturer's product page. Then take that information with a grain of salt. If you're one of those people who believes in taking really good care of your stuff and you want to be sure that your hardware will last and be reliable. Keep in mind that the way manufacturers rate their products is based on the way they expect most people will actually use them. They're not expecting you to still be using that CPU, graphics card, or hard drive in 10 years time. And they certainly aren't giving you a warranty that lasts that long. So they build some buffer into the numbers, but they don't worry about those fringe cases too much. So for added assurance, take their number and build in your own buffer that makes you feel comfortable. Speaking of fringe cases, the people who think trekking to the store and finding the last employee who actually still works on the sales floor of a grocery and drug chain to unlock a cage so you can spend $20 on a package of freaking razors only to burn through them and realize that now you have to do it all over again. The preceding run on sentence was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Join Dollar Shave Club today with the link below and enjoy the convenience and savings of the f***ing great razors and blades that they deliver straight to your door once a month with the precision of a clean cut machete wielding man throwing a box at what is presumably a man in a bear costume but could also be a bear who ate a person and then took over control of the bear from the inside and applied for a job at a pretty cool company that ships bathroom supplies to their thousands of customers who... Okay, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Anyway, your first order contains the handle that you'll need for the rest of your subscription, and the rates are under $10 a month for even their most luxurious shaving experience, the executive. If that sounds great, head on over there and tell them I sent you. Oh, and don't forget to check out their shave butter and One Wipe Charlies as well. The shave butter is for your face. It smells really nice. The One Wipe Charlies are for your butt, and they smell nice too, initially. Thanks for watching this episode of Fast As Possible. Like and share this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave a comment if you have any feedback for me or the rest of the Fast As Possible team. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe.